Okay. Now can I talk to... Intruders will be... Oh, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> I like her. Ada's great. Yeah, she's good. She's my my quarters more are more. sick. I love these quarters. Ooh, neat. It's a great view. I like view. being able to see the ship outside. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go talk to, to the Parvati. She's probably in her room. Man, it must really be generating some major heat to, like, heat the entire groundbreaker up to uncomfortable levels. Because, like, you're in space. That's true. Like, space is literally zero degrees. Oh, my God. <laughs> what is this? Max Payne? Jesus Christ. Okay. Well, you were just hey, afraid of falling down. Can I get your temperature on something real quick? Sure. So... June Lay and I have been talking some. Oh. Her messages? I got them here on my data pad, and well, she sent me a poem. When she wrote her own oh. song, I'm pretty sure. Oh, she's I'm super into her. Into because yep. the poems are all symbolic and such, right? It's not so good. But real sweet. Comes from the heart, you'd say. Oh, law. That's what's got me spooked. I don't rightly know. It's about this engine that's been shaking itself apart. Then this lady mechanic comes by and lays one hand on it. And the trouble goes away. Mm. All right. Maybe I this is why I'll she was not in the Thomas. Correctly. I don't want to get too hopeful, but I'm wondering if maybe she's the engine and I'm the lady. It's a real This is maybe why she's not into Thomas. Mm. Possibly. Back. Number one. Sounds like she likes you. I don't know where it's leading yet or... If I'm misinterpreting, I'm not much interested in physical stuff. Never okay, so you're asexual. That's fine. These ways, not like other folks seem to be. Well, not necessarily. I, I just don't care for it. It's been a problem in the past. The folk who wanted to be with me back in the Vale, they didn't. They said I was cold. You're about the warmest person I ever met. To hell with them. Thanks, Captain. That makes me feel a touch better. Okay, so now what? Junlei, I just couldn't work up the courage to open it. But I'm gonna change that. <laughs> She's oh god, it's just gonna be like a like a nudie. Okay. <laughs> oh no. Let's see here. Not a dick pic. About old friends. Got to thinking. Isabel. <gasps> Isabel. Who's Isabel? Only the best damn secretary of my town. <laughs> they were. Close, Captain. Like more than friends close. If you were close, not anymore. I don't know. June Lay talked about them like it was past, but how far in the past? Ten years? Last week? Uh oh. Captain, Things are getting messy. Right now. Could we maybe head to the groundbreaker? Get some drinks at that bar there? The Lost Hope? Drink you know solves everything. If that's what you want, next time we hit the groundbreaker, drinks are on me. Wait, also, wait, would it be easier to talk to her about this Isabel? I, I, I like this better, actually. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't it be easier to talk to her? Maybe for you. I start thinking about all the things she could say and my guts start calling up my throat. I'm full serious. Next time we're on the groundbreaker, I aim to get a drink. If I got to, I'll do it on my lonesome. But I'd feel better if someone I trusted was there. Okay, I'll, I, I'll go. I, I IRL don't drink for medical reasons, but sure, I'll go with you. Oh. I mean, she doesn't know that. She don't know that. I'll just have a shirt of the temple, as they say in in, in the movies. Uh, oh, wine baseball. spritzer. He's a he's got a ball. Huh? Actually, before just I do this, ball. I'm gonna go talk to him. He's in his he's in the 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 dining was area. Was he the dude that was just sitting at a table? Yeah. Actually, also, I might as well heal up because I'm probably hurt. I mean, only a little bit. But my legs are a little achy. Wait, do you have limb limb endurance right now, or like is is limb life a, a thing? No, I don't Can think be crippled. I don't think that's a thing in this game. Okay, I'm just gonna sleep for six hours. All right, where where's where's Felix? Felix the cat man. Oh, he's still sitting here. Okay, Whoa. there he is. What? So how'd you end up on the groundbreaker? Didn't I tell you? I'm secretly the chairman's orphan child, abandoned at birth in the back bays. 
Then you're raised by so a he's an OC. <laughs> That's right. Can't get anything past you, boss. Honestly, before you pick me up, I was living in the back bays. Spent my whole life up there. So this is a ship that's so big; it has its own like different layers of society. It's like the Titanic. I was Kinda, yeah. Groundbreaker call a stowaway. Means I was invisible. Life carried on for everybody else, but not for me. I had to make my own way. I have a hard time believing you are invisible to anybody. Yeah, because I got sick of being ignored. Got sick of being a nobody. So yeah, I made some noise. Got in a couple scraps. Nobody else in the Groundbreaker is going to look after you. So you had to That's like weirdly self-aware. that real quick. Hmm. Well, that's a bad one. Uh. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go the Han Solo route. I like it when you make trouble. Halcyon's got enough obedient little workers. If I never got in that scuffle with my old foreman, you and I never would have met. You'd be off having adventures without me, and I'd still be working. I mean, I haven't had an adventure with you yet, so... I've been trying my hardest to remember the name of that, like, new discount Han Solo in the new trilogy of Star Wars movies, and isn't it Poe Dameron? It's Poe Dameron, yeah. by Oscar, Played by Oscar Isaac. This is a Poe Dameron. He looks like a less charismatic Oscar Isaac. And also a white Oscar Isaac. Like a whiter... <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Felix, yeah, right. Could be I was overreacting. A better man might have turned the other cheek. But on the other hand, broadsiding the jackass with a toss ball stick—that felt good. That felt real good. You want to try? Okay. Hmm. I want to see a game of toss ball. I want to see how jazzed up it got. Yeah, I mean, in theory. But I wouldn't have felt half as good. I caught a real lucky break. If you hadn't picked me up, I'd still be back. <laughs> I'd be in a prison cell. Waiting for the day my ship arrives. Well, I am glad you're not wasting your life hauling boxes. Yeah. I guess. Thanks for listening, boss. Hey, man. Someone's got to haul them boxes. Okay, let's get going. So you, you stay right here, back in your chair. And I'm Depending on the boxes you haul, your life may not be a waste. I mean, what if those boxes are full of, like, some sick shit, you know? Yeah. And you get to have those boxes? Those are your boxes. What if every box you ever hauled saved several lives each? Yeah, it's full of, like, anti-cancer, you know? Yeah. Or, like, life-saving porn. <laughs> the idea of porn that's so strong that it's life-saving? <laughs> <laughs> This, this porn so was strong. so strong. The strength it, it of saved porn. my life. It, it was such extreme porn. <laughs> no, just it, it was just so strong. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't the, believe my eyes. The, the, the depths this porn dove into was so strong. Oh, it saved my life. Saved my life. Oh, God. I almost. Oh, there's not a hole. Oh god. Oh, go away. Suck it and chew it. You can do it. Okay, this is... I was actually kind of interested in hearing more about that treat. It sounded good. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how this works. Talk to the Vera Krivenik. Oh, she has the exact same hair as Julie. Or June... No, not June Lane. June Lane. As, uh, what's her face? The other fighting late? The lady who was at, yeah. who wanted to find the lady, Jessica, or whatever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her. Uh, it's the exact same hairstyle. Uh, I suppose you don't know when I could get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. Stellar Bay proper? Hmm, tough to say. The board recalled all the nav keys about ten years back when the corpse pulled back to Terra 2. Do you know why? So run with beasts, I heard. Big ones. Kind of chew your... If you're aiming to get to Stellar Bay, you're gonna... But I ain't the one you ought to be asking. Try Gladys on the promenade. She'll fix you up. Okay. Um. Well, I, I don't know. What am I supposed to do now, Parvati? You tell me. Okay, Martin. so what are we drinking? Really I'm actually not. I don't. I have no don't idea. Worry, don't worry on the price. I got this. Let's just no, no, I'm your you captain. You said that you. you I'm you your captain. I'm gonna pay. Um. I mean, I used to drink back in the day. I, I used to like uh, 
a dirty martini, but um, it's not. Should I do? Or it? you sure? can you can challenge her resolve right now. Are you sure you want to do this? You seem nervous. Oh no, that's just that's on account of my not being able to sleep lately. Oh, what, what's going on? You know. Well, because she's all flustered. About what Jun Lei said. Aww. I feel my heart shake. You know what? Wine is pretty, pretty. Like most people can drink wine. Like beer, a lot of people don't. Some people just don't like beer straight up. And whiskey is pretty harsh if you've never drunk before. So let's just try wine. You know. Well, that's fruit and such, right? Okay, wine it is. That's a Fine. that's a bad way to think about it. Purpleberry wine's all right if you require a sweetness to your spirits. It seems like a drink that would suit you, Miss Holcomb. Just mind how much you imbibe. Oh my God! Stop talking like that. <laughs> what? Well, that's it's that's his nice. thing. That's his deal. I know, but you don't have to be a true vicar anymore, Vicar Max. Well, I mean, you know, he really believes his his thing. Hmm. Wow, Generally, she got loosened up fast. I know. She Generally, got real honest real quick. I mean, just with Junlei. I don't know what to do about us. Start by telling me why her message got you so unsubtle. Well, she talked about <laughs> had the shrug. And that's a real response you utilize. I do it. Yeah, I do it all the time. She wanted me to know. Maybe I've been making a right fool of myself this whole time. Maybe she's not interested after all. What did she actually write in the message? It was real Show me your phone. Rambly. She was telling Show me the text. Lady named Isabel did all sorts of things to try to win his favor. What? This Isabel lady never quite managed to get her dad's approval, but they carried on anyways. Made something good out of a bad situation. Oh, this is getting a little sideways. I don't know what this is. What is this really about? I just got a lot of feelings, Captain, and they're all climbing up my throat. I need another drink. Right now. Before I lose my nerve. What? Let's get you some water. Come on, Captain. I'm here to drink. Okay, maybe you're right. I am a little woozy. <laughs> Only one. Here I come. No, no, that's the wrong bottle. <laughs> it's best to proceed with a light hand. No, it's a magic bottle. Shush you. I like this three-way convo. This is fun. I want to talk to Junlei like, all the time. Even about Silly things, but Oh no. <laughs> what about me? Oh no, I don't want to do that. About what? Um, everything? I got a solar system's worth of terrifying questions swirling around my head. Does she think I'm as pretty as I think she's handsome? What if she doesn't like me? What if she does? What if she's still got feelings for that lady, Isabel? What if we we get together and she gets bored of me? Don't stop there, you're on a roll. Should I say that, or there's an easy way to get answers to all these questions? I don't know, man. This is you. Let's see you work your matchmaking magic. Oh, there's nothing easy about about spilling your guts to the person. Look, I know. I know it's hard. You know I'm not interested in physical affection. I know that. That's well, it's tripped folks up in the past. Folks, I thought cared about me for me. What if she's not okay with that? What if she is, but then later, she's not? You can't control how people react to you, even people you care about. Or... Yeah, it's a fair thing to say. This is also good. Are you afraid for being rejected for who you are? That That's obviously yes. Uh, that's true. That's, that's too... That's kind of... I mean, yeah, they would just be I'm like, to number five. Well, duh. What do you mean, Captain? <laughs> it sounded more profound in my head. Uh, <laughs> the only thing you can control is you. So if I'm doing my very best to be kind and open-hearted, I shouldn't worry how she thinks of me? Gosh, I don't know that I got that in me. Sometimes I feel real mean inside, Captain. I think ungenerous thoughts. We all do. I mean, that's, that's yeah, hard being human. I mean, do you have any idea how many people I wish were dead? Oh my Every god, single day. so many! Like so many people, and not not even die. in a not even in an ironic way. <laughs> like, yeah, I just like <laughs> really, really wish death upon people. Wow, so much to think about. 
So are you like gonna ask her out? Death. <laughs> oh gosh, I I don't know, Captain. Do you think I should? Oh, now you can choose. Don't one ask or the for other, my but, opinion. But they're checks, so believe you only in needed yourself. ten. Yeah, before either. I I had a check that I didn't qualify for, which was the the um, unarmed and melee attacks. So it just locked it out completely. I couldn't use it. Right. So, so these are always available. Don't ask for my opinion. Believe in yourself. Okay. I, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna ask June out. Just as soon as we get back to the ship. I mean. Why not go back? Go to her now. She's right here. No. Thanks. Why do we go back she's to the too, ship? She's too drunk. She's compromised. Well, for being a friend. She can't give informed consent. It means a whole lot. You're good people, Captain. Look, I'm just, I'm just well, trying. It's not like I could be elsewhere. Nor am I capable of neglecting... No one's talking to you, Vicar Max. <laughs> what the hell? That's so weird that he inserted right. himself like that. Thank you, guys. He You're barely had any input at all. I wish... I wish there was a place we could all live. Quiet. Together. You know what? That would be nice. Come on, let's go. If we could make you our... You already own. have a ship that you're kind of doing that on. Ostensibly. Yeah. But it'd be nice to, like, have, like, a cool, like... Because one of the cool things I liked about the end of Fallout 3 is that um, whatever, like, city you decided to take, um, a, like, refuge in at the beginning, you can kind of, like, do your little bit of retirement in there, you know? Set up your room, oh. and you can just okay. sit in there, and that's like, it's like, I've done my job. I'm just going to sit here and relax. It kind of reminds me of how in Breath of the Wild you get a house. Yeah, it's like that. It was like exactly like that. And it's like, if you're done with Breath of the Wild, you can be like, my job is done. And you go back to your house. And, yeah. Actually, one of the coolest things that can appear in your house is like, once you've done all the champ the Champions Ballad DLC DLCs, mm -hmm. um, you get like a photo of you with all the Champions from mm. like the before time. That's really cool. Yeah, and it's just in your house. I haven't done that yet. Cool. Hey, Captain. I hope I wasn't too much bother at the bar. Oh, you're fine. I did have fun. And Your I voice acting barely changed. such an accelerated rate. <laughs> Some of the drinks we tried, I even liked. I guess it's not all. You only had wine, right? Yes. I don't feel it today. I guess that water must have worked. Yeah, see the water. Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, did you talk to Junlei? I messaged Junlei when we got back and she replied super quick. <clears throat> okay. I was awake half the night, thinking about what I sent, anxious to see what you said. I reread my message in the morning, and it was unclear. I was drinking when I sent it, otherwise I wouldn't have had the courage. Also, sorry for the typos. Okay. Okay. Not bad so far. I've ruined things in the past, because I didn't say things I should have, like, I've met someone who's become special to me. I want to be honest with her, so if she feels the same about me, there won't be any surprises. Oh, so Junlei does like you, and she said it in the most awkward way possible. God, hmm. isn't she sweet? It's like one of those two-bit romances where one soul's all stiff and formal, and I should be glad this, We have, in the span of like 30 minutes, like... <laughs> yeah, this is like a, this is like a three-week courtship <laughs> condensed into five minutes. Oh dang! Now I leveled. I leveled up by hooking people up together. Hell yeah! Wow, that's a lot of XP. You just got sixteen point eight k. Yeah, being a matchmaker, is totally profitable. Totally worth it. Where are you now going? You can distribute some skill and perks. I'm gonna follow you. Where are you going? Oh, wow, she, she was just kind of floating. She's walking a, a little drunk. Oh, okay. You just oh god, she's going to burn herself with the incinerator. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I'm gonna upgrade. Right. Okay. Oh, whoops. <laughs> uh, revert, revert. Okay, cool. Okay. Um, so now for dialogue, we're at the point where um, persuade doesn't keep increasing. If I increase dialogue, I have to increase it by itself. Manually. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. But I do want to probably keep increasing things like lockpick. Well, you're still low enough in stealth that um, increasing lockpick is increasing stealth first. Yeah. 
you increase all three up into a certain point. I think it's worth it. I'm just going to dump it all in tech right, uh, in, a, in stealth right now. Bam. All okay. right. Wait, why do you have like, um, oh, you're negative five because of the elite troop armor. Yeah, the armor lowers stealth. Um, it lowers lockpick? I wonder why it lowers lockpick. Sneak, because, on a, I can understand. They're, they're all part of stealth. I know, but... Lockpicking is someone that's something a stealthy person does, I guess. Maybe that's why. Like, just in terms of raw, like, logistics. Ne yeah. Not in a video game context, but it's like, why would a suit keep you from being able to pick a lock? I don't know. I uh, mean, especially when it's mag picks. You're not even actually doing a lock pick. But mechanism. you have to you like just be good at using on. the mag picks. You know, you just stick it on. It's just a little, oh, I a little donut with this with a sticker on the one side. Okay, I'm at uh, to 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 even numbered perk or level. So when we get another perk, um. Hmm. We're at the point where it, like not a, like it's not super. None of these are like super interesting. I mean, that is something that I have heard as like a mild criticism of this game is that the perks aren't very. Well, the thing is, it's like fun. Like the cool not perks so come up by leveling up your skills because, like for example, yes. like like dialogue, like you get you get like intimidation things happening which is really interesting but i think because they did it this way which honestly is a great way to do it when you have actual perks they've run out of interesting things to do so it's kind of just eh here's another thing you know and it's yeah like the majority of these are just like um you know nerfs and buffs that are just a percentage function of something i think i'm just going I mean, to buffs. do I want to do increase walks. This is walk speed, right? I want to do increase sprint speed. That's what I want to do. So, and I'm going to apply. Cool. Because I think it's just fun, funner to run faster. Whoa. Whoa. I didn't know I could go up here. Is there anything cool up here? Find the special question mark block by oh. jumping. By jumping. Oh, this is the thing she looks at me with. Okay, let's go back out there. Yep, that's my crew. You can stay here, Felix. I don't know. I don't trust you yet. If you had brought Felix along to drink, he probably would have had, like, relevant dialogue, even though he had no connection whatsoever to any of you. Yeah, and he's probably a better drinker than these guys. Probably. Uh, okay. What's my next? Objectivo. Uh. Let's see. Weapons from the void. All right. Those are the side. So, okay. What did, what did, um, Vicar Max want? Um. Oh, and she book, is right? a companion. That lady is a companion because this is a companion quest. Oh, okay. So once I solve this, she'll become a companion. Uh, cleaning machine and empty man. Okay. I wonder how many companions there are in this game. Oh, this one's hard. I have to find uh, a mark, a marded ID cartridge. Hmm. I'm going to go for the cleaning machine thing first. Wherever that is. Uh, oh, it doesn't give me, um, it didn't give me. Uh, wait, Hawthorne plant to. Oh, it doesn't tell me where it's going to be. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, just find the acid steeper. Oh, wait. This doesn't apply. That's weird. Okay. Apply. There we go. Cool. Have either of these hmm. Okay. Then if I can't do that one yet. Okay. Worst contract. So Jesse Doyle, wherever she is. She's 90 meters away in this direction. Oh, who are you? Oh, this is just where all the all the workers sleep. Okay. Yeah, this is like a barracks. A barracks. A barracas. All right. All right. 
she close so she she in there but how how do Marvin get in there maybe wait was there any door like further to the right before you entered this area mm, I don't think out? so I don't think so yeah I don't think so yeah so I have to find some sort of disguiseo, eh? How do I find the disguise? Is it in here? Did it say whose ID cartridge you would need, like specifically? Um, it did not. Um, it just says I'm not allowed in here. I guess I could sneak. I'm going to try uh. sneaking. All right. You ever wonder if maybe folks keep doors closed for a reason? I did it. I did it, Dan. Wait a minute. Your companions are following you. And it's okay. They they not they're not part of the sneak. That is ridiculous. This is Fallout logic. Okay. That's so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why? Everything's fine. We're all fine here. No need for her to be worrying her pretty little... That's a very suspicious sounding lady. Terrible, yes. Terrible, sick is all. Got a cough that won't quit and sores all over my body. Highly, lethally contagious. <laughs> fine, so long as I'm left alone. Open the door before I Why kick it down. Why is she being so guarded? What's going on? Okay, well, I'm going to save here. Yeah, that's a good time. And then let's get in here. Oh, you look like you got this weird hat on. And then your stomach looks like you're legitimately hurting. She okay. looks like she wants to go on the life the aquatic. Is, I'm not sick. But if you repeat what I'm about to tell you to anyone, I will deny it with my dying breath. You, uh, All right. with the board, are you? No. I owe them. A lot. I might have missed a payment or two, and the other night I swear someone was following me back to my room. So I hold up here to lay low. What did you do that got you in trouble? What? No, I didn't do anything. I'm a law-abiding denizen of the ship, I swear. Yet you think the board had someone follow you, and now you're hiding out. Think? No. I recognize a contracted killer when I see one, thank you. In my line of work, that's a skill you develop during week one. What's your line of work? Assuming you want to keep breathing. Yeah, that's, that's an interesting I thing to say. Part up too, if it means you'll help me. <coughs> oh, so you're a thief. Okay. I specialize in particularly high-end and historically valuable items. Three weeks back... If you're a thief, how are you law-abiding? Listen. On the Lost Hope I don't get it. For the first time in 70 years. So, what does this have to do with the board? Udon was my buyer for when I acquired uh. He paid half up front to finance the operation. Let's just say things went sideways about the time I got my hands on the diamond. And it crumbled to stardust in my palm. That Even sounds unlikely. I that was my life and nary a plan to make back Udon's deposit I'd spent. Wait, how, how, so the, the, the diamond disintegrated? That's what she just said. That's why I was like, that sounds suspicious as hell. Like. Udon what the hell is that? Board guy on the station. He'd know how I stand with them. If you can square things for me, I'd owe you one even bigger than Ellie owes me. Okay, I'll talk to Udon for you. Thanks for helping me with the, or I guess I should say, Ellie is one, huh? I could just kill him. <laughs> I mean, sure, but that would cause some. People will tumult. probably really hate me. There'd be lots of things to deal with afterward. So much trouble. Uh, okay. Um, this is all stealing. Oh, oh, hello. Don't mind me. <laughs> the one. It's a one-way window. It's it's an easy way of. Uh, don't worry about me. I'm here. 
Oh, nice. <laughs> well, good. Okay. We did it, it. Worked out. You didn't we, need anything. We are the we are the true flights of the navigators. You just saved so much time by not going after a dumb identity cart. This is Halcyon Dune. How do you do? Hello, Udon. Come on, Udon nice. Bedford. Here's some Japanese noodles. <laughs> I'm here about Jess Doyle. I want a debt settled. Miss Doyle owes the board a significant sum. Alas, the only collateral she has is her organs. Jeebus. Jeebus Christos. Mm. Uh, these are both... This is a bad well, how one. Much is, how much is paying it off? Uh, I'll pay it off for her. Kind and efficient. Can't say I disapprove. Although... Seeing as this woman isn't a member of our Vicar, I didn't ask for your opinion. <laughs> yeah, man, like... I think you may have underestimated the size of Miss Doyle's debt. If you'll look over this itemized bill... You're charging that much for emotional anguish? Really? I am extremely anguished. <laughs> <laughs> difficult time. I doubt Mr. Bedford's ever felt real pain. We could introduce him to the sort of suffering that actually constitutes. You know what, Max? Oh. I like he's I like the cut of your jib. Standing, of course. Be he's exploring his bad his cop. Order. You might not like the rather narrow understanding of what constitutes excessive force. I, can I afford this? I don't know. Can you look at your menu at all? I don't think it would let me if I couldn't. Hmm. How much? I, I have no clue how many bets you got. Unless you can offer some other means of resolving her debt. Put under an indenture contract? That's not unreasonable. I guess it's better than losing your organs, but... I don't know, Captain. It just doesn't seem right. Miss Doyle is deeply in debt. Mm. And the board I don't... Parvati's right. That does seem pretty shitty. I mean, yeah, what you're... Do I have that she'll agree to the terms you negotiate? You know what? I'm gonna load... I'm surprised you went with the option. Well, I wanted to see. Okay. So we're back Oh here. god, you have to sneak out again. Oh god, this terrible sneak mission. Where I'll just- I just looked directly at her to see if she'll walk- What is she looking at? <laughs> she is <laughs> contemplating very- very hard. Do I have to even sneak out? Can I just walk out? Oh no, I- Oh no, I did have to sneak. Okay. Sneaking is necessary. Yes, I mean, it's good that they utilize their mechanics and all. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, Vicar Max. Go back to work in the sea for Bill Murray. Incoming. Oh shit, I ran through the wrong door. Don't mind oh, any of this, folks. You're, you're, you're getting stuck. We'll never get out of this now. Oh, Your one in, chance. We're trapped in a loop like end of t edge of tomorrow. Go away. Please, okay. Don't mind me, madam. Did someone shush you? Yeah, Vicar Max shushed me. <laughs> Don't tell me how to sneak, Vicar Vicar Max. Yes, there's nothing more quiet than going shh next to people. <laughs> shh, we're sneaking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I could just kill you all. Oh no! Wait, did you save when you got in here? I'm assuming you did. Well, you did convince Udon Bedford to clear Jesse's debts now. It's working! Oh, you guys start fighting too, huh? Oh, this is not an easy fight. I mean, they just keep calling in reinforcements. Like, you're essentially fighting the entire, like, floor now. Oh, okay. That didn't work out. That was fun to try, though. <laughs>
I mean, if you succeed, I wonder, like, where that leaves you in all your quests and things. I probably fuck over the Groundbreaker, because then the board will now send over, like, a whole army, right? I guess. I wonder if they've accounted for that sort of rogue gameplay. How might I assist you? Ms. Doyle the I'll pay it off for her. I think you may have... I'm glad we could come to an accommodation. You may inform Miss Doyle that our collections agent will be recalled. Now, is there anything else you need, or...? Yeah, we're leaving, you dick. Wait, all this time, do we know how many bits you have? Uh, I still have 1,375 bits left. Huh, okay. I was pretty rich. Alright, then you're fine. I'm pretty rich. Oh god, where am I stuck? Okay. Uh, Wait, now you gotta sneak back in just to talk to her again. Yeah. Oh. Don't worry. Wait, oh wait, no, there she is. Oh, she came out. Okay, cool. How did you know? How did you know? That's suspicious. Yeah, I think you should kill her. Shoot her. Shoot her. Seems I'm in the clear. Thanks to you squaring my debt. You sure saved my skin, stranger. All debts between me and Ellie. Oh, she gave me a thousand. Good. Oh, so it it mostly cleared its uh, that wasn't bad at all then. Well, yeah, you she watch reimbursed you. She gone. reimbursed you more than half. She had more than half of her debt ready. Yeah, thanks, she just man. didn't have it all. The good news came through the wireless. Looks like you paid my debt to Jesse. I guess that means I owe you now, right? Sure. I'm a little short oh, that's a lot of XP for that too. But I'm a decent scrapper and a better than average sawbones. Oh, you're a healer. A oh, so she's a doc. Oh, are you saying you work for me just because I helped Jesse? If I'm being honest, and I prefer not to, I was about ready to pick up another contract anyway, and you settled this in a pretty tidy fashion, which tells me you're competent. She's got like a Fox oh, McCloud outfit going on. I like her. I like her general demeanor. I like it. You know what? She's just an upstanding citizen. Look, welcome aboard. Keep her, keep her ledger square. Looks like you've got a full roster already. Time to play favorites, Captain. I'll catch you up on the ship later, Vicar Max. Doctor Fenhill, glad you opted to join us. It'll be good to have a Sawbones on the crew. It's weird to just refer to doctors as Sawbones. This is this? She's Doctor Bones. Yeah, I'll I talk to you. Something on your mind? If we're gonna work together, I'd like to know more about you. I'm a surgeon by training and a pirate by inclination. Oh, that's oh. good. How much else to know, Captain? I like long walks on the promenade and the smell of Spacer's Corona. I make a mean zero G cocktail and I've got a meaner right hook. All right. Huh. I was hoping to know something more personal about you. Uh oh. My blood type is AB positive. I'm a Leo, and I despise Space Hospital. Never space heard, Hospital. Tell you. What does that, that mean? Covers it. What is Space Hospital? I don't know. <laughs> is it like General Hospital? On, that stuff's boring. You're deflecting. The soap Look, opera? What I've learned about living in close quarters is that you've got to give people room to breathe. I'm all for making a few bits together and having fun doing it, but let's keep a little professional distance. You want know fine. That's What's a zero right. G cocktail? That's fair to say. On hand. Usually zero G brew with some spectrum vodka if you're lucky, purple berry shake if you're not. Oh, so you never know what you're getting. Exactly. That's what makes them fun. Inventive. I like it. I'll make you one sometime. If you don't enjoy it, I'll make a few more until you do. Ha. <laughs> sure do. Some of it was even legal. Ugh. Okay. What's that supposed to mean? There's a lot of business that goes through the groundbreaker. Some of it's board authorized freight hauling and some of it's not. I've done all types of work with all kinds of crews. If there's one thing you ought to know about me, it's that I won't tell you your business. Your ship, your way. That sounds reasonable. Glad to hear it. It's worked for me this long. Let's get back to Good. business right to defeat the Hun. Alright. Let me see if Just I can. Just the one Hun. Yeah.